All right, welcome back tubers. So, today I got a little bit of a request from a community member. They want me to help them put together a bike battery. Now, I don't want to do this as a rule. He's kind of local, he's in Melbourne. So, he sent me up all the cells and I've never gotten to use the 21700 cells. They've all been tested at around about 4,000 milliamp hours. Um, he did all the testing and stuff like that. But the plan for me is simply to build the battery. He's provided me with some templates. They're pretty crude, but look, they work. Uh, so that's the basic shape that I need. Um, it's going to be a little bit smaller, obviously, or a little bit larger with the cell holders. Now, I ordered cell holders from AliExpress. They're pretty quick. Took a couple of days to arrive. I've got two cell holders and three cell holders. And hopefully, I did my maths right, and we've got enough here to build this out. Now, I don't really know how to build this. So this is where the community sport comes in and lets me sort of throw some ideas around. Um, if you have a look in this clip, I had it set up so it was five cells, and then up to here, then five, then five, negative, positive, negative, positive, and just winding my way down the pack. Now, I figured that that length wouldn't allow the current transfer in the most efficient way. So. I've grouped them in, in five here, and then five, then five, and then tried to, to wrap them around so there's smaller, tighter groups of nickel, and I can really get that current flowing. So it'll be 5P14S battery pack. Um, it'll be done with some nickel fusing, or nickel strip. Hopefully we'll be just wrap it up in some heat shrink and it'll be good to go. We're not using any fusing, we're only using the nickel strip. Um, I've got a battery, ba uh, I got a smaller BMS for it. I'm not sure if it's going to be up to the task. I think it's a 50 amp unit and it is just a Chinese one. So yeah, I don't know what's going to go on with that. But there we are tubers. Let me know how you think this is going to work. I'll, 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 I'll throw a couple of combinations out there. You can let me know below how this is going to work, whether or it'll work or whether I should be doing something just playing stupidly different than what I'm doing it. But obviously I'll be spot welding it up with the community spot welder. 21700 down. Um, yeah, I'm using the community spot welder to spot weld that up. So for the next couple of days, that will not be available. It's gone out a lot of times now. So to the community members that have grabbed it, used it, enjoyed it, and then returned it in good condition, top work. There has actually been nobody that hasn't, which is awesome. <laughs> Close to what I think would be the best configuration. Uh, again, I still ask you below for your input before I go any further with this. Putting this black stuff together, I tell you what, I forgot how difficult and painful it was. So I'm going five, 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 those five there, then five down here, then five here, five here, and then five, 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 five here, five there, five here and five there. I think that gives me the most amount of interconnects between each cell pack. Let me know if that's the way you would do it or not. And tubers, thank you very much for tuning in on this one and helping me out. And I'll see you on the next one.